In this video, I'm going to explain the three things you need to know before connecting speakers to your Polaris Ride Command system. Stick around to the end. I'll give you a pro tip how to cut out the crackling and feedback noise through those speakers. As always, please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. First, getting access. For this install, you'll need to remove your hood and front dash section of your Ranger. That includes removing the dash cluster and ride command screen. After we ran the wires, we reinstalled the dash piece by itself, allowing us to line up where we want it to mount the amp. We placed the amp right underneath the gauge cluster for easy access in the event we needed to make adjustments in the future. One adjustment we made to the amp before installing it is that on the two buttons on the amp, we put them in the out position. This allowed the speakers to be much louder than when they were pressed inward. Second, what parts we used. Now we decided to only install two speakers on our Ranger High Lifter. If you want to install more than two, you might need additional supplies than what we go over here today. We decided to go with the marine gray kicker speakers that have the RGB changing lights in them. Now I'll list all the supplies we bought in the description of this video so you can see what parts we used. But now the kicker speaker has six wires that you have to run. And kicker makes a specialty six wire cable for the RGB speakers. The only issue we ran across is that they only sell it in 150 foot rolls. Because the speaker placement, we use less than 20 foot of that roll. Now we're gonna run these same speakers on our Turbo S, so it's not a big deal for us to buy the big roll. So for you that might be only installing on one machine, this is something for you to think about. We will link that big roll along with the other products we use, and if we can find where it's sold by the foot, we'll link that in the description of the video too, where it makes it easier on you not having to buy the full roll. Third, install tips. Now the speaker pods we decided to go with had specialty plugs on the ends. But because we decided to go with the six wire cable from Kicker, we removed those specialty plugs and ran the cable straight through the hole. It was nearly a perfect fit, so we just used clear silicone to seal up the crack around the cable. Now the pro tip for this install is to use an RCA noise reducer. This eliminates any crackling and feedback you get through the speakers with this type of system. Now we ran this setup for a few months now with no issues with feedback. Lastly, the Ride Command audio adapter we used, we plugged into the Amp 2 option on the Ride Command harness. This was the easiest connection point for the two speaker setup we decided to go with. In conclusion, if you're interested in the two speaker setup like we installed on our Ranger High Lifter, please keep in mind that this will not be bass thumping loud like a full system would be. Now for us, it gets the job done and it was exactly what we were looking for. So please check out the description of this video for links to all the products we mentioned. Using the links in our description to buy these products helps us to continue to bring you great information like this video. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. If this video has helped you, then please smash the like button and thank you for watching.